Have you ever pondered why the speed of light remains an elusive frontier, a boundary that seems impenetrable no matter how advanced our technology becomes? It's a question that seems to defy the very essence of human nature, our innate desire to push beyond the limits and explore the unexplored. This cosmic speed limit is deeply rooted in Albert Einstein's theory of special relativity. Special relativity, born out of Einstein's genius mind, tells us that the laws of physics are the same for all non-accelerating observers. And within this framework, he found that the speed of light is the same no matter the frame of reference in which it is measured. But it's not just about the constancy of the speed of light, there's more to this tale. As an object moves faster and faster, nearing the speed of light, its mass begins to increase. Not just a little, but drastically. It's as if the universe itself is pushing back, making it harder and harder to accelerate. The energy required to push an object to the speed of light would, according to Einstein's equations, become infinite. And infinity is a tall order, even for the most advanced civilizations. Simultaneously, as an object nears the speed of light, time begins to slow down. This is known as time dilation. To an outside observer, it would appear as if time for the object in motion has come to a standstill. Imagine a clock on that fast-moving object. Its ticks and tocks would appear to slow down, each second stretching out, becoming longer and longer. And as if the universe weren't dramatic enough, there's another twist. The object moving close to the speed of light would appear to contract, to shrink in its direction of motion. This is called length contraction. The faster the object moves, the more it shrinks. If it could reach the speed of light, it would appear to be of zero length to an observer at rest. So, as an object approaches the speed of light, it experiences infinite mass increase, time grinds to a halt, and it shrinks to nothing. This triad of effects forms an insurmountable barrier, making it impossible for any material object to reach or exceed the speed of light. This isn't just theoretical musing. Experiments time and time again have proven the predictions of Einstein's special relativity. The speed of light, it seems, is a cosmic speed limit that holds firm, a fundamental law of our universe that keeps our reality in check. It's a testament to the beauty and complexity of the cosmos, a reminder that there are still mysteries left for us to unravel in the grand tapestry of existence.